Good morning, friends. I am Dr. Gopal Krishnam Gaukar, Associate Professor and HOD, Department of Economics, Government Prashkar College, Tenkanadi Ru, Udupi. Today, we are going to discuss about the length of payments adjustment methods. Uh, so far, we discussed about what is the component of balance of payments and how the balance of payment is going to determine the paid or other the otherwise conditions of international position of a country. These are the things that we discussed in our earlier classes. Today we are going to discuss about the how you are going to saturate balance of payments in the earlier periods as well as in the modern periods. This is the thing that we are going to discuss today. As part of introduction, when there is a deposit or surplus in view of a country, it is an adjustment through the following mechanisms. As I said, in the balance of payments, there will be deposits and at the same time, there is a chance of surplus also. I mean, it is the case for certain countries' deposit positions and in certain countries, there is surpluses. So, both cases are possibilities. We need to set right, I mean, if there is deposit, definitely we try to for surpluses. Of course, the countries which they have surplus, they may not try to get down from the surplus to the set right position, I mean deposit positions. Here, the mechanisms should be discussed in brief. There are three important mechanisms. Here we are going to discuss two, of course, one after another. The first one is automatic adjustment through price and income changes. Price changes are studied under flexible or floating exchange rates and under the gold standard. Automatic adjustment, there is no intervention of the government because if there is flexible or floating exchange rates, of course, in the gold standard, under the gold standard, supply and demand is going to help to set right the conditions to the equilibrium positions. So, this is the things that we are going to discuss. And followed by, we will discuss about adjustment policies are induced, changes to correct disequilibrium in BOP by the government of a country. First one is automatic condition adjustment and second one is the government interventions or government policies that, is, that should be induced to change the conditions in the BOP. They include, of course, I will come back to that one in detail. However, here for the sake of mentioning, they include expenditure changing and expenditure switching policies, maintaining external and internal balance, direct controls, etc. The third dimension is there. The third dimension is there are also approaches to balance of payments which form part of policy measures but are usually discussed separately because number of theories they are all tried to use some you know ways to set right this balance of payments conditions. Maybe to mention one or two or uh, the elasticity approach, absorption approach, or monetary approach like that. Dear friends, today we are going to discuss about the first part as automatic price adjustment under gold standard. Under the international gold standard, which operates between particularly 1880 to 1914, the currency's use was made of gold or was convertible into gold at a fixed rate. Remember, this is the period where gold coins were in circulations. So, that is called as gold standard. Otherwise, gold, the gold standard currencies can be 100% convertible to the uh, gold, the result. That was the conditions. 100% uh, convertibility is possible to currency to the gold, the result. The central bank of the currency of a country was always ready to buy and sell gold at the specific price, that is what. 
the rate at which the standard of money of the country was convertible to gold was called the mint for of mint price of gold this rate was called the mint parity or mint for of exchange because it was based on the mint price of the gold mint price means manufacturing price of the gold because i already said gold coins was in circulation and those people those who have gold they could of course with the permission of the government convert into the coins because every coin should have certain amount of gold and uh, that much of gold is needed to convert to the coins so that is what if you have any cost for that that will be considered uh because it was based on the mean price of gold but the actual rate of exchange could vary vary above and below the mint parity by the cost of shipping gold between the two countries that is what the uh, very important matter that is going to consider for to decide the price of the sometimes uh, the imports and export exports also and uh, the gold uh, also because uh, shipping uh, amount has to be considered here to illustrate suppose the us had a deposit in its balance of payment within with britain okay deposit with balance of payment with britain the difference between the value of imports and exports would have to be paid in gold by us importer because the demand for pounds pounds exceeded the supply of pounds but the trans transshipment of gold involves transportation cost and other handling charges insurance etc okay so in such case how this can be separated suppose the shipping cost of gold from the us to britain was 3 cents so the us importer would have to spend 6.0 here here it is 3 cents to transport cost so uh, he is to this uh, us importer would have to spend 6.03 dollars uh, that is what uh, 6.03 dollars for getting one pound this could be the exchange rate which was the us gold export points or that is called as upper specy points because 3 cents that you have to pay for the transport minting etc now us importer would pay more than 6.03 the us importer is not ready to pay more than 6.03 dollars for one pound to obtain one pound at the same time the uh to other otherwise he could buy 6 worth 6 dollar worth of gold from the us treasury and ship it to the britain at a cost of 03 cents that is also another way of doing the things similar the exchange rate of the pound could not fall below uh, 5.97 dollars in the case of a surplus in the us balance of payments thus the exchange rate of 5.97 dollar to a pound was the us gold importer point or lower specy point see two points one is upper case it is 6.03 of uh, dollar for a pound at the same time uh, in the lower specy point is 5.97 dollar for one pound the things that should be remember the exchange rate and the gold standard was determined by the force of demand and supply this is the thing that already i said between the gold points and was prevented from moving outside the gold points by shipments of gold of course it is not so easy but uh, it is all depending upon the supply and demand for the gold of different countries the main objective was to keep bop in equilibrium of course there is chance for automatic e- exchange of uh, gold and uh, goods there is no such problem that is why this uh, automatic restoring the uh, the bop equilibrium a deposit or surplus in bop under the gold standard was automatically adjusted by the price specy flow mechanism for instance a bop deposit of a country means a fall in its foreign exchange reserves hmm, due to an outflow of its gold to a surplus country when you say bop deposit because of uh, you know foreign exchange reserves problem 
then automatically there will be outflow of gold to the surplus country this reduces the country's money supply thereby bringing a fall in the general price level automatically if the flow is more to the other countries then there will be shortage of you know gold in the home country and it causes fall in the general price level this in turn would increase its exports and reduce its imports so exports will be increased because that goods is available in the other country at low price and the exports will be increased and it cost in the the cost of the imports is more so there is a reduce in the imports this adjustment process in the bop was supplemented by a rise in interest rate as a result of reduction in money supply so interest rate will be raised and that will lead to the again restoring the equilibrium this led to the inflow of short term capital from the surplus country when the interest rate is more the peoples from the other countries i mean investors from the other country they will come here and they would like to invest here so automatically gold will flow rivers i mean for the uh, the country which is had the deposit itself thus the inflow of short term capital from the surplus to the deposit country helped in the restoring the bop equilibrium see the things this is the way in which uh, uh, the things happens or the mechanism happens in the um, uh, bop disequilibrium particularly under the gold standard uh, under the flexible or the floating exchange rates so we will discuss the other part i mean uh, how the government is going to uh, intervene and why they are going to intervene uh, how it is possible to you not know, reduce this all the things in my next slides uh, there we will uh, discuss about that matters uh, dear students if you have any uh, doubts or questions you may ask to me and uh, i will definitely clarify thank you thank you for hearing